Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is a tiny robot with my head on it. I've got the steps, so they're pretty simple. So let's get cracking. So my current steps use an iPhone. It has to be one of the newer ones, and it's got a sweet app called Bellis 3D. Let me show you really quickly how that works, and then afterwards, friends, if anybody knows an Android app, I'd love to have you share that in the comments. Alrighty friends, so to make this we need 3D pictures of our heads. I'm going to use a tool called Bellis 3D. Uh, it is free to download, but once you do download it to actually get access to your shapes, you're going to have to pay a buck per head, but I'm willing to do that so I can get mine. So when you hit scan, it tells you to look at the camera, get it so it fits your head. I'm doing the full head scan, and then uh, I'll be quiet here and you can see what you have to do to make it work. Look at the camera. Turn left. Turn to the middle. Turn right. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head up. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head down. Turn to the middle. Capture completed. So that is the actual speed that it captures it. And after processing, this is what you got. A 3D version of you that you can have access to for 99 cents. So once you've got the head scanned, you need to download it to your computer, which I did that step. Friends, of course, the second step is to get into Tinkercad. If you hit search, switch to people, and type HL Mod Tech, you will find me. When you click on me, it lists my designs that are public. You can see they are sorted by what is most popular. If you instead sort by latest, you should be able to find the robot statue. Friends, when you do visit one of these, if you give it a like, that makes it easier for the next person to find. And then you can simply hit copy and tinker and you have got a project you can play with, even though it was me that created it. So friends, this is a tiny little print in place robot. There is a second movie that teaches you how to mod it. I'll have a link to that up here in the cards. But all you need to do now is bring in the head that you created. Before I do that, I'm gonna put my name on here just so I can keep track of what I was building. I always like to show you that step. And then we are going to hit import and we're going to choose a file. I made a folder called my head and stored that OBJ file right there. I do not want to bring it in at the stock size. This is huge. So instead of 282 high, I'm going to make mine 25 high. Notice when I press enter, it scales the other pieces and I can hit import. And then you just need to wait patiently as it loads. You can see down here, it's showing you how much time it takes. All right, friends. So after a few moments, the head arrives. I'm going to use shift nudge to pull it out so we can see it. And that was just shift and then an arrow key and then we need to rotate it. I always like to click on one of these corners so you can find this right here. And if you stay close to the head, it goes 22 and a half degrees at a time. And it's real easy to get to 90. If you move the mouse way out here, it goes one degree at a time. So the trick is stay close, get your 90, and then boom, your head is close to right. Now we wanna put the head right here. So we're gonna hit work plane and click on that little purple post. If you click on the head and hit D, it drops to the right height. If you hold down shift and click on either of those pieces, you can hit a line, click on the purple or the orange piece to make it the master, and choose center. And then I'm gonna look at it from this corner and center. Now I'm going to switch the grid to 0.1 millimeters, and I'm gonna nudge it till I'm really happy. And then you'll notice right now the head is still pretty large. So I'm gonna use Alt and Shift to shrink it. And this way I can scale it to the size that I think looks best. Once again, I can hit D to drop it to that work plane. Now I can adjust one degree at a time and get it the exact way that I want. So I'm just using the arrow keys. I'm gonna push it in just a little bit and do a little more Alt and Shift to stretch it until I am totally happy. Notice I'm double checking to make sure the chin does not hit. I'm going to do control up arrow. And friends, you have got a robot that is ready to be 3D printed. I'm going to just nudge these eyeballs a hair left or right. These holes will make it so you can stick filament in there so it looks like you have eyes. I'm going to group those really quick. And friends, there you have it, a tiny robot 
that prints all at once, but when you're done, it moves in every direction and it has your head on it. How cool is that? All right, friends, so I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground. I'm gonna remind you, uh, these are notes that help you while you're editing. I'm also gonna remind you, there is a video in the cards that totally walks you through how to change the words, how to ungroup it, how to make this so it says whatever you want on the robot's body, as well as having your head. Don't forget, friends, I'm also looking for help for what is the best free Android app to do the same type process. The iPhone app, Bellis 3D was amazing, so I do highly recommend it. But if you don't have an iPhone, I don't have an option at this point. Friends, I do want to remind you, if you make an awesome one that you want to share with me how it turned out, you can simply hit collaborate, copy the link, generate the link, and you can ship it to me on any social platform. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail at HLModTech. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCad. Friends, please also remember, if you visit HLModTech.com, I have got an entire tab dedicated to Tinkercad projects. And at the very bottom, there is a sweet messaging app that if you fill it out and hit send, you'll reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this project. And if you did, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.